It's around 3 a.m. on an early Sunday morning. A patient walks in needing treatment, not from too much alcohol consumption, but because a moth has attacked him. I was sitting outside smoking a cigarette. I just felt it right in here. Just... The moth is deep inside his ear canal, and every time it flutters its wings, the sound is so excruciating, Chris is willing to do anything to get it out. I tried using a Q-tip. Paper towels. You can still feel it in there. Oh yeah, something's flapping around. This is very, very frustrating. And uh, as you can see, all the irritation of his ear, it's already red and everything because he's been trying to do something about it. But there are some things to consider. You just can't stick tweezers in the ear and try to pull it out because if any moth parts are left behind, it could do more harm than good. Having a bug in your ear, half a bug in your ear, what if the bug was pregnant? What if it lodged some eggs up in there? Chris came to the emergency room and lent his ear to the ER technicians. It's, it's nice to, you know, have an issue and come in and actually get treated. As opposed to sit around and wait for a little while. But I'm glad they were here. There he goes. After a few flushes of mineral water and what would appear to be a scene from an Alfred Hitchcock film, the creature emerges from the canal, alive and in one piece, with no parts left behind. He's still alive too, we didn't even have to take him out. While this is the first time these ER techs have seen an occurrence like right this, there. they have been prepared and ready for anything that might come or fly their way. I'm Air Force Sergeant Brent Skeen, AFN, gotcha. Osan Air Base, South Korea.